It's been nearly a month since the Bobcats have played a game inside the brick, but that all changes tonight as they take on the top team in the Big Sky Eastern Washington. And to Montana State's advantage, the Eagles announced just before the game that their second leading scorer was out due to flu-like symptoms. It was a back and forth battle the first half down by three. Micah dribbles to the top of the key and sinks the three with a hand in his face to tie it up. On the opposite end, Tanner Groves was cooking from down low. He gets Jabril with the pump fake and goes up and under for two. Jabril didn't like that, so he had to get him back with the slam dunk. This put the Bobcats up three, but it was all Eastern Washington the second half. Eagles pass the ball around and find Tanner Groves down low once again, and he draws the foul. He finished with a team high 26 points, and the Eagles take game one 90 three to 77 and over in eastern Washington the woman's team had no problem keeping their hot streak alive that's in large part because of this woman right here Darren White gets her sixth steal of the night and takes it coast to coast she finished with 16 points and a career high seven steals but she wasn't the only one who had the hot hand tonight in transition Ashley Van Sickle finds Tori Martell on the left wing she'd also finished with 16 Bobcats extend their win streak to seven winning 73 to 42 both Montana State men's and women's basketball are back on the court Saturday to close out their two game series against Eastern Washington. From inside the brick, Ashley Washburn, MTN Sports.